After rescuing the emperor from Shun'an, Cao Cao leads him to his own capital of Shucheng. His control of the revered emperor of the long-reigning Han Dynasty gives him. Elsewhere, Yuan Shu's faction is gradually losing support. Panicking, he does the unthinkable. He declares himself emperor, basing his claim on the imperial. He claims to be the true leader, and calls on all faithful lords to support him. However, this gives Yuan Shao the perfect excuse against him. Shao proclaims Shu a traitor, and begins his own campaign against him. Ever since I have been here, I have observed closely the lay of the land. The continent is divided in two, between the areas ruled by Master Yuan Shao and Master Yuan Shu. But it is also clear that Master Cao Cao has the momentum to one day outstrip them both. For now, he is content to follow Master Yuan Shao, but it is only a matter of time before he strikes out on his own. <sighs> And will you follow him when he does, brother? It is true that Master Cao Cao is thinking of the best way to rule this land. But I have my doubts whether the methods he adopts will bring any real peace. From the way he acted in Shu province, it seems clear that the process, at least, will be far from peaceful. Those who do not share his vision will be declared his enemies. And you cannot share his vision, brother. Then it's settled. We should get out of here at once and go to Yuan Shao's place. That seems a somewhat dishonorable course of action. He extended his hand to us in our time of need. We must express our gratitude in appropriate terms before we leave. Guan Yu is right. We may have had our differences in the past. But we are Master Cao Cao's guests now. We must first repay the debt we owe. Any decisions about whether or not to leave this place will be taken after that. Liu Bei, the time has come for us to slay Lu Bu in Shu province. I want you and your men to come with me. Master Cao Cao, I have always intended to find some way to repay the debt that I owe you for allowing us to stay here. However, Shu province is a territory over which I once ruled. I cannot bear to see it exposed to the ravages of war once again. You are free to be concerned, but know that as long as that beast roams the land, the people will never know peace in their lifetimes. I will slay him and bring an end to the chaos, no matter what those around me may think. And I will use whatever tools I have at my disposal. The best way to bring down Sha Pi Castle is with a flood attack. I am confident that Master Guojia and I will be successful. A flood attack. Guojia and Shunya.
are brilliant indeed. Everyone, this is our chance to rid ourselves of Lu Bu for good. They must be targeting the floodgates to launch a flood attack against us. I cannot allow that to come to pass. I cannot allow them to interfere with our strategy. I must hurry on ahead. display of might and bravery. Display of might. I shall do what I can to match it. I cannot believe that I was bested. Even after giving it my all, you have earned my respect. I shall surrender to you quietly. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Ah, that was an impressive effort. 
I enjoy just watching you out there. Guogia, we completely destroyed this floodgate. Yes, that is wonderful news. It looks like I accomplished my duty admirably. Okay, that takes care. to meet up with Master Cao Cao and the others. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. A tremendous display of might and bravery. Understand. You plan on breaking the floodgates and flooding Xiaopi? I will never allow that! This is our best chance to kill Lu Bu. Therefore, I refuse to let anybody stand in our way. You're going to face me! The only move! Step forward! This is nothing! Now, face my full strength! For my aspirations, I will fight to the... It. I have dropped my guard. I have shamed my father's name. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. forward! Your talents have kept us alive thus far. I am speechless. What the? Uh, what is this? Water? From where? It's from the river. Water is coming from the sea. They too! They must have destroyed the dams! A water attack! What should we do? Should we leave the castle? Oh, if we leave here, they'll kill us! Get to higher ground! Hurry! <laughs> 
Oh no! It's no good! The gate won't hold! Master Shun Yo! We finished destroying this floodgate for my aspiration. Excellent. I will we have accomplished our duty here. from the ramparts. Ah! Water! I hadn't thought of water. We must ensure that each unit regroups at once. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Just forward! Ah! That was an impressive effort. I enjoy just watching you out there. Now we can begin moving towards Shapi Castle. We will meet up with our allies on the front lines and slay Lu Bu. For my aspirations, I will fight to the end.
is to be the place where my dreams are ended. It is most vexing to watch one's vision clouded by violence and stupidity. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Ah, that was an impressive effort. I enjoy just watching you out there. Worth my while, won't you? The only moves forward. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Your talents have kept us alive thus far. I will fight to the end! And the only most excellent performance. I am speechless. Let me go! You impudent maggots! How dare you place ropes on the mighty Lubu! You relied on sheer might while shunning intellect and cunning. That is what led to your downfall, Dubu. I lost to someone weaker than me. 
It's something called Strategy Lubu. Someone like you, who depends on physical strength, will never beat me. Then tell me, what would happen if you add my strength to this thing you call Strategy? Huh. So you wish to pledge service to me? <sighs> Master Xiaozhou, Lu Bu is a beast. Don't let desire for strength deceive you. Oh, damn you, Liu Bei! Oh. Oh. Farewell, Lu. Let your pride in being the best die with you here in Xiaopi. beast born of the chaos has been slain. Liu Bei, you may rule over Shu province once more. I have returned to Shu province, but only after drawing its people into the maelstrom of war and watching so many lose their lives. Master Cao Cao is right. Lu Bu had to be removed for the sake of future peace, but I believe there must have been a way that involved less bloodshed Master Cao Cao is the kind of man who will always take the shortest route to his destination. For his goal of ending the chaos of war, no amount of death and destruction will be too steep a price for him to pay. He's totally different from you, brother. All the more reason we should be glad that we've escaped him back to Shu province. Let's make this into a territory that Cao Cao will be jealous of, brother. Yes, we must begin by rebuilding this land which has been ravaged by the repeated scars of war. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, I will need both of you to help me make this land rich and prosperous. with every area we take.
Listen closely, my comrades. Yuan Shu has dishonorably claimed the title of Emperor. It is our duty to slay this traitor! Yuan Shao, forgive me, but I shall be taking command of our army for this battle. We cannot allow our enemy to escape us like Dong Zhuo did. What are you implying? There is no point in using the Imperial Seal to name yourself Emperor. We cannot allow such ignorance to go unpunished. I agree. I served Yuan Shu, and he relied too much on his name and position of authority. If we let him continue, the land will only fall deeper into darkness. Th th that is a remarkable coincidence! I was just thinking the exact same thing! He brings shame upon the noble house of Yuan, and I will bring judgment... Our motives may differ, but we appear to be united in our desire to bring down Yuan Shu. As for myself, I cannot allow Yuan Shu to threaten the peace of Shu province any longer. I swear that his rampage will be stopped here! To claim the title of Emperor and bring turmoil to the land, I cannot forgive such- Hey! Get on in here! Again. Welcome, welcome. Please, come again. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units march! Master Yuan Shao, and reach a peace. Yeah. Young Hong, handle this. For my aspirations, I will fight to the end. Bay's forces are peasants, nothing more. None of them can match me. Yeah. Yeah! 
Victory was made possible due to your efforts. Whoa! What a show, brother! Report! Lord Ji Ling has been defeated. Our alliance with you and Shao is over. We can't expect any more aid? Then we surely can't expect to win, either. belongs to us. We will not give it up for anyone. We can't hold back the enemy now! 
I'm gonna run for it! There is no greater disgrace than to flee before the enemy. This time he paid for his contemptible behavior. Jian Ye has fallen. Why did I have to live to see this day? This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Your skills. You're definitely special. Report! Lord Yuan Yin has been defeated! Jian Ye has fallen to Sun Se's forces. Ugh. The enemy is coming with ever greater momentum. Strengthen the defenses in preparation for an invasion. The supply unit hasn't arrived. It'll play. Bad luck on your part, choosing to come through here. Hand over your supplies. Hey! What do you think you're doing? That stuff belongs to us! That's a perfect target slip through our fingers. Hooray! Now we can be sure that everybody has something to eat. My army only moves forward. It looks like the supply unit is all right. I'm so happy everyone's okay. Okay, our preparations are complete. Now we can move to the attack.
Let's go capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. Just have to steal it. Yeah. It looks like there's plenty here. Too forward. Be thankful that we'll leave you alive. Just hand over your food. Such amazing skill, determination. You are a true warrior of the three kingdoms. For my aspirations, I will fight to the end. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Wow, that was awesome! I get worked up just watching you. Run for it! Food's no good if you aren't alive to eat it! Been defeated? We can't fight without supplies. You saved all of our food. How can we ever thank you? Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Incredible. I am truly impressed by your skill. Continue working hard to set a good example for everyone else. Absolutely nothing we can eat. I simply can't fight when I'm hungry like this. dare you raise your blades against me? I am your emperor. Someone, slay these perfidious fools. The only moves forward! All right, we've won this battle! 
Soon, sir. He's nothing but trouble. Send him off to join his father at once. Let's go! We'll crush their position! Sit! Put! Sit! Put! Sit! Yeah! For my aspirations! I will fight to the end! about to be stopped. Be honored, for it is I who shall face you. Here? Don't let him anywhere near me. Impossible. Unthinkable. Inconceivable. I am the Emperor. How could I be forced to endure such an outrage? So this is what happens to those who would dare take the name of the Emperor in vain. I wonder what waits for me at the end of my path. Yuan Shu has perished. As the true inheritor to the rule of the noble Yuan clan, it is my task now to lead this land in the right direction. So now he states his claim to the nobility after Yuan Shu has been eliminated. 
The land is no longer a place that can be ruled on the strengths of one's name alone. It takes power to bring about a new world order. That is why I have fought all this time and will continue to do so. When we were there, he was obsessed with being in a position of authority. Of course, that alone will get you nothing in this world. We couldn't care less about one's name or authority. We just need a land to call our own and plenty of powerful allies to have our back. Now that our objective has been achieved, the Coalition is disbanded. We fought as allies here, but we will soon be enemies. Sooner or later, Shu Province will come under threat. When it does, what will I be able to do? My lord, a messenger has arrived from Lord Dongcheng, attendant to his Imperial Majesty. Is that so? Then you must show him in at once. Unfortunately, the Emperor is now little more than Cao Cao's puppet. Lord Dongcheng proposes to slay this traitor and rescue the Emperor. Lord Dong Cheng is recruiting like-minded individuals to his cause. Lord Liu Bei, would you consent to adding your name to this declaration of intent? The names of Master Yuan Shao and Master Sun Se are here. Has Master Cao Cao's abuse of power grown so extreme? Still, while his path is not the one I would have chosen, I would not have been able to return to Shu Province were it not for Master Cao Cao. So then you intend to side with the traitor. Is that your decision, Master Liu Bei? No. If his Imperial Majesty is displeased, then it will affect his leadership, and the people will not know peace. I will lend you what little strength I have. Thank you, most kind. I must go and make my report to Lord Dong Chang. So if you will excuse me. It looks like Cao Cao's finally going to get his comeuppance. Still, brother, I must say that something about this doesn't seem right to me. If we had been in league with Master Cao Cao, then their plan would have been exposed at once and the messenger slain. And yet, the messenger was quite happy to show us the document without any sign of concern for his own safety. His actions strike me as far too cavalier for a secret messenger. I bring news. Cao Cao's vast army is on the march towards Shu province. What? Why would Master Cao Cao attack us? I bring fresh intelligence. It appears that Cao Cao has raised troops in retaliation for Lord Liu Bei's alleged involvement in a plot to assassinate him. No. He must have gotten a hold of that document I signed. Now that it's come to this, we have no choice, brother. We have to prepare to face them in battle right away. But we are heavily outnumbered. If we meet them head on, we will simply be shattered into a thousand pieces. Holding up in the castle will be just as futile. Then what do you suggest we do, huh? Abandon Shu province and flee. If I am not here, Shu Province should be able to escape the ravages of war. 
brother. You're serious? Shu province has been the site of conflict for far too long. Now, at last, its people are able to live in peace. I cannot allow my own carelessness to threaten that peace. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, I ask that you show forbearance. For now, we must flee from Cao Cao's clutches. Cao Cao's forces have moved much more quickly than I had anticipated. We're completely surrounded.